Today is gonna be a little different of a video, kind of taking you guys into my real estate life in a way. We're heading over to a really dope apartment owned by some very, very dope people. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. has been like kind of your inspiration for the space and the way it's designed? Uh, well, the inspiration, you know, we got it like bare mm -hmm. and we'd been looking for a place, you know, to for our children, you know, we needed three bedrooms and we started looking all over. It was like, it took us months and months and months. And finally we chanced upon here and the, you know, this was like, uh, I would say like almost 15 years ago. The neighborhood wasn't rough, but it was still, it was growing. And uh, we happened to, to find this here and we fell in love right away. And what I did like is all the architecture elements of it, you know, the high ceilings, the brick, and it was an old, an old place. So it, was, it allowed me to, you know, my wife, uh, Vara, to, to make something out of it. And we decided, to, like, we got very creative and I'm an interior designer, you know, and I've worked in Europe, I've worked all, a little bit all over. And I had a lot of furniture and pieces that I managed to bring in here. And basically all this, uh, the paintings and all that, I had already before. So we added closets. That's what, because this place had n zero closets. Because <laughs> I, I used to work with Salvador Dali. So he was like, you know, the king of surrealism. And, um, you know, I've been very inspired by that. And I like to be very eclectic. I like to use elements from everywhere it doesn't have to be expensive or whatever it's just if it's appealing to the eye if i like it the touch and everything and the look i just added i saw that you guys were featured in a few magazines could you talk a little bit about yeah. that and how that was oh um well magazines you know i, I started uh interior design in the 80s and so i kind of like you know some of my work has been published you know in various magazines architectural digest el decor and the times huh. Uh, New York Post, New York Mag, a little bit everywhere, and um, and this apartment has been featured in the the Fadon book, the you know the greatest interiors, the 400 greatest interiors of the century. So it's yeah that big book, the black one. It's so it's that's great. This apartment has been very successful. <laughs> All right, fine. How's the B-roll going? Yeah, it's great. Um, probably take some more afterwards, but what? I think we're gonna... Bro, where are you going with these, bro? Bro, what do you mean? It's $2 bills. What are you doing with these $2 bills? Bro, inflation. Don't you know $2 is the new $1? Ah, uh, okay, okay. If you could choose one item in yes. this entire apartment, is that your absolute favorite? My absolute favorite? What would it be? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I mean, I love everything here, but let's say I love my books. Yeah. What would be the most, mo something that would I, be, I would get really upset if I lose? If you lost, yeah. It would be my painting in the living room, the Comanches, at sundown. Um, it would be this painting. Um, this painting is by... Um, an artist called Charles Schrevogel, and in fact, um, he was at the same time, he, he was in the, in the late 19, 1800s, at the same time as Remington, the other painter of the Wild West. And this, this painter, in fact, never went to the Wild West. He was based in Hoboken. So this is like, you know, by imagery. And this painting is the Comanches at the Sunset, and the frame is beautiful. The frame has those arrows, and and I think this painting is from like 1895, something like that. And um, and I borrowed this painting many years ago to put it in my when I would have an apartment photograph in a magazine. I would place this painting. This painting was there for twice. It didn't belong to me. It belonged to an antique dealer. And I really he gave it to me once. 
as a commission, and then he took it away from me. And then finally, a few years ago, he, res you know, he told me I want to sell it. And we grabbed it right away because, you know, it's like I had like an almost 20 year relationship with this painting. Yeah. <laughs> and I really love it because it's when I come in or when I see it, it's I like these warriors they are in the plains. And it's very like it was nostalgic. And they're waiting for the sun, you know, to come up. That, I mean, we're very attached to that. It's gorgeous.